Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Before I start, I'd like to share some important tips. Make sure to check the quality settings on a YouTube player and set it to 720 or higher. Also, expand the player to full screen. This will ensure a clear view of the code and actions demonstrated in the video. Today, I will show you how to use Scheduler in your web project. Open ID. I will be using Microsoft Visual Studio. Create a new project. In this video, I will choose an ASP.NET Core project. Click Next. Specify project name and its location. Select Framework, for example NET6, and uncheck the Configure for HTTPS parameter. Click Create. Initially, you need to install Stimulsoft packages from NuGet. In this video, I won't be using visual components, so I can install only the Stimulsoft Reports Engine NEC core package. Additionally, we will use Quartz for automating project actions, so we need to install this package too. This sample demonstrates how to render export a report and send an email with it by schedule. Add reports and jobs folder to the project. Add the report template to the reports folder. Add two classes to the jobs folder. The first class will contain the method of the scheduler. The second class will contain the methods to load and export a report and send an email. Open the stReport job CS file. The class must inherit from the iJob interface and must contain an implementation of the execute method. Let's create two additional methods before we implement the execute method. Add a method to create a stReport object and load the template into this object. Also, add an asynchronous method to export a report and send an email. In this sample, we will convert a report to PDF. This file will be attached to the email message. Also, we can use SMTP settings for the mail server. Pay attention to your specific SMTP settings. What you see now is just a demonstration. After that, we implement the execute method where we invoke the create report method and pass the result to the send email method. Open the stjob scheduler cs file. In this class, we will implement the start method. Create a new scheduler object and invoke the start method. Now we need to define two entities for this scheduler. Firstly, define a job that this scheduler will do. In this sample, it is the stReport job class. Secondly, define the scheduler trigger, the event when the scheduler will run. Quartz contains many methods for triggers, but I choose with cron scheduler and set the schedule at 10 a.m. every day. 
After that, pass the job and trigger to the scheduled job method of our scheduler. After setting up the start method, we need to invoke it in the program CS file. This sample is complete. Change the schedule and use breakpoints as an experiment to verify that the sample is working. Set a launch schedule every 5 seconds. Set two breakpoints in the execute method. Run the project. As you can see, every 5 seconds the execute method will be invoked. If you have gained something valuable from this video, please share it with your colleagues. And do not forget to click the subscribe button to stay updated on the future content. Bye.